Thomas Merton once said, with God, a little sincerity goes a long, long way. And uh, you begin in the vulnerability of your intimacy. I hardly know how to begin. See, how do I begin such a thing? And the idea is this. Unless there's practice, this is the great insight of the Buddha, too. Unless you ground your very consciousness in this, this way of looking at life will tend to be just a poetically beautiful way of looking at life. You, the thing is, is that the essential never imposes itself. The unessential is constantly imposing itself. And unless you set aside time for the non-impositional power of the essential, the unessential will keep intruding itself on you and will see to it that you, you, you'll, you'll never have it. Really. And so there's a kind of a radicality that's called for, that you go against the stream and you commit a daily quiet time in which there's no agenda but love alone. In other words, this is the time for intimacy. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. And you bring yourself as you are with sincerity. Most people find it's important to be faithful to a daily practice <coughs> because it's a habit that develops over time. It's very, very subtle. It's very, very subtle. I once had someone come to me to want to learn how to meditate. And I asked them if they meditated before. The person said, well, I did once about five years ago and didn't go well. I thought I'd try it again. So people who, who meditate aren't meditating because it goes well. They meditate faithfully in the midst of all that doesn't go well. Uh, but they're resolute. They're, they're clear-minded in fidelity to the practice. You feel called to do it. You feel called to do it. There's an inner integrity of your heart that unless I set aside some time each day to open myself to the mystery that has accessed my heart that I do not understand, I will not be who the mystery is calling me to be. And I have to avail myself of it and I have to give myself to it. And this is practice.